Good morning, traders. It's Tuesday, April 23rd. Taking a look at the charts, uh, equities are a little bit mixed. We got the Russell 2000 down a little bit. Uh, other indexes are up a little bit. Overall, if we take a look at the SP 500 uh, daily chart, we can see we got into an oversold move. We saw some panic. We saw a big spike in the VIX a couple of days ago. And now the market's having a little bit of a rebound. Right now, it's stuck under the five day moving average, which at this point is still a high momentum downward trend. Uh, we do have um, multiple cycles, three different cycles, uh, putting in a low as of uh, about a day and a half ago. Uh, so we could see some type of rebound and bounce back up, uh, which is typical price action when something gets oversold. We could see it uh, move back up for a week, week and a half or so, potentially come into this uh, breakdown level or into these moving averages and move up a little bit before potentially uh, heading even lower. The big question is, is this going to be a little V-shaped bottom and we just keep on going higher into May, into June? Or is it going to be something more complex uh, in terms of a multi-wave correction uh, uh, before potentially going higher? So we'll see how that unfolds. Overall, the NASDAQ yesterday had a, uh, well, all the indexes had a pretty nice uh, pop percentage wise, uh, but overall, uh, it really is an oversold pop. The NASDAQ really fell out of bed here with technology kind of uh, really pulling things down. Um, let's take a look at Apple real quick. If we take a look at Apple shares, it is uh, it had a very strong pop uh, about a week and a half ago, and it has just fizzled right back out. If we go back to this pattern here and we draw a line across these lows, a few different levels here, uh, Apple is threatening and starting to break down. This is a, a big potential breakdown level that will suck the market down if Apple uh, collapses. Uh, let's take a look at Tesla. I haven't looked at these, uh, but I know they're all at a critical level. So Tesla started to break down from this little bear flag um, a few sessions ago. We talked about that uh, and it, it's in free fall mode and could continue to keep dropping and pull the market down. It definitely feels like the darlings have lost their their mojo, more or less. Um, we're just seeing all these big leading companies. They've just Apple's hit a wall. They've kind of hit their, I think, their max at this point uh, for their products that they have out. <clears throat> there's lots of different EV vehicles. Tesla's lost kind of its shine. Elon is getting a lot of heat, although he's always had a lot of heat, but it seems more negative than normal. And some of their big staff, uh, big executives uh, quitting. Uh, so things are starting to fizzle out. And uh, that is not a good sign for the overall stock market uh, and the economy uh, when, when the big leaders have run out of steam and uh, sales are slowing and all of that stuff. Um, let's go take a look. Um, let's take a look over at the VIX real quick here. Uh, the VIX uh, had that big spike uh, in the market. The VIX does not need to keep going up for the markets to fall. Typically, what happens is we will see uh, the VIX spike with a huge fear, which is what we saw. And then the VIX can actually kind of pull back and hold its ground, even though the stock market keeps pushing lower. Um, it's just the way that it works, it tends to be lead the way. If we take a look over at bonds, bonds are down a little bit again this morning. Again, they just kind of are in this constant bleed lower now. Um, everybody tried to front run it, pile in. I remember talking to a lot of advisors and their their core comp corporate advisors were telling them to get their clients into bonds. We saw a huge amount of bonds, uh, money flowing into bonds. I think TLT actually shows the volume. You can see how the volume just like doubled and tripled. Everybody's been trying to pick a bottom in bonds. And it felt like they all tried to do it uh, back over here too. A lot of people were expecting, and this looked like a launch pad for it to go higher. I was thinking bonds were actually going to go higher, but price never confirmed and it ended up breaking down and just keeps on falling. And now it's doing the same thing and fizzling back out. So uh, there, there, there really aren't many safe spots right now to be in. We are sitting uh, you know, on the sidelines collecting just daily interest or depending on how you go, whatever your cash equivalent position is. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. Let's take a look at NVIDIA really quick also. NVIDIA had a big breakdown here. Uh, huge drop, big volume. Obviously, some big funds and, and people have unloaded a bit. I think we're heading towards their earnings season. We did see a big sell-off in, in NVIDIA just before earnings last time. Um, so we'll see how this, this one unfolds uh, going forward in terms of how the earnings and how the price reacts. But we're definitely seeing some selling going on and um, across the board, big volume selling. You can see these big reversal days, these big sell-off days are all high, high volume. So there's definitely people trimming portfolios. And we talked about this months and months ago 
when we said, hey, when the stock market, when the SP 500 starts to break, starts to break to new highs here, uh, we're going to start looking for distribution days. And we've seen a few of them already. And we're starting to see it in some of these leading stocks like Apple's breaking down, Tesla's breaking down. Um, NVIDIA is showing big signs of heavy volume. We keep having a few bouts, uh, uh, the odd day here and there where everything gets hit. So big funds and institutions are unloading, lightening their portfolios, moving to cash, raising capital. So they have fresh gunpowder when things correct. They're trying to unload shares into the hands of the average investor. And that's what we, we're kind of, we kind of have been expecting in this whole phase here. And this is a tech-driven really bubble. Again, if we go and we look at the Russell 2000, that same time frame, Russell 2000 is nowhere near the highs. Uh, Russell 2000 is really flirting with this top and this this test, this resistance area, and it could easily break down and start a huge leg lower, and uh, everything will get hit pretty hard. Uh, the ARK K ETF, which used to be the ultimate darling back uh, pre-COVID or during COVID. Um, it's gone through the whole cycle of everybody chasing it up and then complacency, bear market, and now it's in a, a you know, a base or stage one or bear flag. I believe this is just a massive bear flag and we're going to eventually have the stock market sell off. Um, I don't have this chart set to go back far enough, but uh, this will go back down to probably 15, 16 bucks a share. Um, so another huge leg down, which it traded way back at this level, way back over here in earlier times. So uh, while a lot of people think this whole cycle has taken place and they're buying into stage one and they're expecting a huge recovery, or if you've been holding it and you're expecting a recovery, uh, it's probably going to be a pretty rude awakening when it breaks down and just keeps falling and falls another 60 or 70 percent from where it is here, I believe. So it'll be interesting. And there will be some screaming buys when the bear market ends. Uh, but right now, I still think all these stocks, these companies are very high risk. Um, other than that, uh, if we if we look at our hot list, obviously, most things are in a short term downtrend. Majority are in a topping phase or bearish phase. And when we look at our indexes, the Russell, the Dow, the SP 500 and the NASDAQ, they're all risk off short term downtrends. And it's showing us we're in a distribution uh, kind of a topping phase, a phase, a stage three topping phase. So um, everything is unfolding as we expect. It takes months for these massive multi year trends to reverse directions and unfold and it's all playing out it's just a long game it's uh it's not super active we just have to let time kind of do its work anyways that's it for now we'll talk to you soon bye-bye